I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and here's today's Word Tip. I'm ready to measure my document. Let's do it then. When it comes to measuring Word, you may think of several things. Paper size, document size, character size. Paper size is set on the Layout tab. In the Page Setup group, yes, the Size menu is where you want to look. Different sizes of paper are shown here. Choose the More Paper Sizes item way at the bottom to view the Page Setup dialog box, Paper tab. The Page Size menu lists preset sizes, but also, way at the bottom, you find the Custom Size option. Then you can use these gizmos to set a specific paper size. Keeping in mind, of course, that if you want to print a document for a specific size, you must have paper of that size and a printer capable of eating the size paper. I'm happy the size is in inches. It's very American. Apparently so. To change the measurement standard, go over to the File tab, choose Options, and in the Word Options dialog box, select Advanced over here on the left, then scroll down to the Display heading, Show Measurements in Units of, and you see inches is selected here, very American, but the menu also shows centimeters, millimeters, points, and picas. Picas! Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. For measuring the contents of a document, you go to the Review tab. In the Proofing group, click the Word Count button. Here are your document statistics, a measurement of sorts. This document contains one page, 175 words, and characters, well, you see the rest. To instantly see the document content stats, click the word count item down here on the status bar. See my status bar video for more details on using these handy shortcuts. Finally, I come to character size. On the home tab, in the font group, this menu sets the size of characters. And then if you hop on over to the Layout tab, in its paragraph group, you see text measurements here for indent and spacing items, and the indent is measured in inches, but the spacing is measured in points, the same measurement for text size. Isn't a point the same as a pixel? Oh, no! So what's the point? The point is always to educate yourself. No, sorry. What is a point? A point is a unit of measurement, equal to 1 72nd of an inch in the computer world. So a character with a size of 72 points is... Equal to 1 inch tall. Wow! Right, it's a measurement, and it's related to paragraph spacing, line spacing, and other word measurements. Another typesetting unit of measurement is the pica, which is equal to 1 6th of an inch, or 12 points. Is this like the old typewriter text size, pica, an elite? <laughs> How old are you? Yeah, for a typewriter, there were two text sizes. They were fixed, and they were used, called Pica and Elite. The Pica text size was 12 points, and Elite was 10 points. These are all fixed, of course, as typewriters can't readily reset their text size. So you can use points when setting text size, and the space before and after a paragraph. Now, instead of guessing, you know exactly what's being measured. For more details about fancy text layout and document formatting, please see my book, Word 2016 for Professionals for Dummies, which goes into great detail on all this document formatting stuff. The information also applies to Word 2019, so don't miss out because of a year.